Oh no. Yo, good morning, guys. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I'm gonna wait for some more people to get in here. Ooh, that's some good tea. Okay. Welcome in, y'all. Good morning. Hope you're having a great day. What's good? What's happening? What's tea? We're gonna be playing some Age of Empires today, and I'm so excited. We haven't played We're gonna be playing some Age of Empires today, and I'm so excited. We're gonna be playing some Age of Empires today, and I'm so excited. We're gonna be playing some Age of Empires today. Hear myself. God no. We don't like that. Okay. One second. My voice, <coughs> my voice hurts a little bit. Like I woke up today with a little bit of a sore throat and that's not fun, but it hasn't gone like completely sore yet. So I'm trying to mitigate it. Drinking some tea. And yeah, guys, I'm streaming on my new PC, so you have to tell me if it looks good or if I need to like change the settings in this game because I haven't done anything with this game before. This is my first time playing. I literally bought it before, right before stream started. So yeah. <laughs> so just let me know if it's like laggy or whatever. I should be fine. I got a 3080 graphics card. So it should be a bit of an upgrade from my last PC because my last PC was a bit janky <laughs> not janky but the graphics card was hold on let me see if i'm in discord real quickly hold up um okay yeah good we're not gonna be having any of the overlays anytime soon so just so you know because i got a new pc and stuff Whew. But happy Wednesday. I hope you're all good. I'm going to finish this thing real quickly and then we'll get to it. Oh god, this is going so slow. I love Age of Empires. Hi, Anime Apex. How are you? I love Age of Empires. I don't know if y'all do, but I know I love it. Oh my god, this is like so slow. Oh, I forgot I don't need to use my um, keyboard. Hopefully it's smooth. Let me know if it's laggy at all. What do I need? Okay, cool. They're gathering food for now. Oh, this looks cool. Oh my god. This is my first time playing this game. I played the OG Age of Empires, but not this one. With a healthy supply of food, the village could start to grow. To do so, it would need more hands to share the work. Let's get some more villagers. Okay, what is going on with this thing? <gasps> this is all messed up. Okay. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Got re-endate. Right? Oh, I'll produce five villagers? Cool. Dude, this looks so cool. This looks so fun. Where's my scout? This is just an intro. Like, I know how to do the basics of Age of Empires. I've played this game so many times, but I don't know. I guess this is a tutorial. Age of Empires 2 will always be the best. Let's go. The new workforce could now turn to the growing village's needs. First, they okay. would build a mill near their food source, so villagers could drop off Yo, gathered berries more brother. easily. Build a mill. 
gonna build one right here. Work and night. Work and night. <laughs> you help him. Next, the growing village would need wood to build with. Okay. Gather 50 additional. We're gonna get a hell of villagers. Left click a villager just like a day. Yeah, okay, Guys, this is a strategy game. Like, it just. You gather resources, you build an army, you kill the enemy. That's basically how it is. It's so fun, though. It's a good time. Yeah, yeah. I've been wanting to play this forever. This came out in like October and I haven't played it at all. Oh, population yeah. start. Hey, yeah, yeah. we're gonna help you. Huh? Can't build a house? Cool. I'm like sweating over here. I'm sweating cause like, I'm trying to not use the air conditioning so hard, but shoot, I'm hot. Yay, we did it. Woohoo. Yeah. The oh, growing the community now had a steady supply of lumber. To make wood collection easier, villagers could erect a lumber camp near the forest. Can I like, I want to change my mouse sensitivity. My God, it's so, so, it's so sensitive. Game, camera, game? No. Mouse pan speed. Just a, no, we want it less. Let's try that. Maybe that'll be better. I don't think that changed anything, but whatever. <laughs> We're just gonna go with it. Okay, whatever. <laughs> huh? Gongende. Workende. Workende. Hey, help her build it, everyone. Why are you sleeping? That's kind of funny. Hmm. Let's go. Uh, yes, Thanks to the camp, villagers no longer needed to travel as far Let's get to drop out of off this lumber. Tutorial, bruh. The village now required it. additional houses to support its growing population. Can I skip this? I I know how to play this game. All right. Yeah, yeah. It's a Come here. We're gonna build a house. Working day. Also, oh Best dang, days. they're not doing anything up here. On rod. Here, just get wood for oh, now. No. This is the tutorial. It doesn't matter. What is with? They're the English, and they're supposed to be saying English stuff, and they're not saying anything English <laughs> from what I could tell. <laughs> They're like, yar, yar, yar. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mm. So, my sister is planning her wedding, and she was sending me, like, a second dress that she was thinking of buying. And it's so cute. I don't need so many people Dog. getting wood at all, but it's okay. It's all right. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do I, how many houses do I have to build? Work oh, three. Can. Okay. Wait, uh, Help her. Can. Woohoo! We did yeah. it, Joe. Where's my scout? Let's travel this world. With additional housing in place, even more villagers could join the workforce. But a populous village would soon exhaust the natural food sources. 
to grow, farms. the community needed yeah. dedicated farms. Yeah. All right, three farms. We're pending. Oh my god, it's so much faster. Getting a farm up is so much faster. Nice. We did it. Woodsmen and farmers now kept the village well supplied. Further growth required knowing the countryside and finding more resources. For that, communities employed scouts. I need to produce a scout? It doesn't come with one? Okay. I dig it. That's fine. That's alright. That's cool. Need some more farms, though. This is not it. Able to move quickly and see great distances, scouts were key to discovering new resources. Alright. The most important thing for a scout to locate was a ready source of gold. After the end, all right, let's find our gold. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Coast leech. This must be like some old yes, English or something, because I don't understand anything they're saying. Yes, sir. Except that. Yes, sir. Is this a new game or something? Yeah, this game it. actually came out in like October, and I have yeah, neglected yeah. to play it. It's Age of Empires. I don't know if y'all have ever played Age yeah, of Empires before. But I love Age of Empires. It's a game I grew up on, and this is a newer version of the game. And so I, I, had to, I need to check it out. But yeah, this is like a strategy game. But it's pretty new. It is pretty new. Where the hell is this gold? Oh, this is what the gold looks like. Cool. Nice, we found it. Let's go. We found the gold. Yes. Here, go up here. To prevent oh. having to haul all large distances. Expanding communities would establish a mining camp near the source of gold. Alrighty, come here. You What's it about exactly? It's a strategy game. Basically, you build a city, you gather resources, you kill your enemy. You Well, you build an army and you kill your enemy. <laughs> That's how it is. So, I'm trying to think of other games that are like this. Yaru? Hmm. Huh? I think. Google map giving you directions? What? Google map giving me directions? What are you talking about? Um, so, yeah. A well placed camp ensured yeah. efficient. Oh, you're talking about this? Mining. This is the tutorial, and I have to go through it in order to get through the get to the actual game. Like, I know how to play this game, but they're making me do it. <laughs> and I don't know. I'm like, I want to skip this part, but I guess it's mandatory. They don't want players to go in completely blind. The voice sounds familiar. It might be Google Maps. I don't know. It's so dumb. Like, let's do something else. With a good supply of gold, the village was becoming a large town. Oh, and the stone is also a thing. Advance to the future. Oh, bro, how long can the I quit this? The signpost of this growth would be. Can I quit this match? The tutorial to show can advance through the ages. Yes. Let's get to the actual stuff because, like, no, I don't need this in my life. Oh, I don't need to do this campaign. Um, single player. Let's see what's going on. I don't want to play multiplayer yet. Are you. Uh, William of Normandy set out the Kingdom of England from his Anglo-Saxon rival. Only one man could be king. Art of War. What is all this stuff? This is this is this stuff is new to me too, y'all. So let's do this. So a lot about this game is it's pretty historical. They you could be different civilizations. Like you could be uh, like you could be the. <laughs> Vikings, and you could be like the Koreans, you could be the Byzantines, you could be the Spanish, you could be like a bunch of different civilizations. And so you find the one that's your favorite and you get really good at that one. Um, I don't know how many civilizations are in this one, I have no idea, but let's just start this one. Easy, You're looking for a strategic challenge, let's go. Story for those experienced historical events without a strong challenge, the enemy will not probe your defense to mount or only light. 
this let's go with easy for now and see how we do. Also, let me know if you guys can hear it all right because I haven't. I got a new PC and my settings were all messed up, so I don't know. Some if events are good. leave a deep mark on history, but none on the land. Wait, is this real? This is the site of the Battle of Hastings. After almost a thousand years, no traces of the bloody conflict can be seen. Oh my god. This is cool. Oh, this is cool. But here, the fate of England turned. Oh my god. It's where a king was killed and his victor claimed the throne. That's dope that it's showing like the real thing. Decrease game audio just a bit. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Thank you. After this, October fourteenth, ten sixty-six. They didn't do this in the other games where they we showed like the actual here site. On this day, thanks to this, a the crow. Bayer Tapestry, a carefully preserved illustrated record of events. It shows the main players: Harold, the newly crowned Anglo-Saxon King of England. Harold and his challenger, William, Duke of Normandy. Harold. William claimed the previous king had promised him the crown. So I believe that. He assembled an army and prepared to sail to England to fight King Harold for the throne. But a storm thwarted his plans. We're getting a history lesson, boys. Meanwhile, the Vikings. Harold discovered that a Viking invasion had landed in the north. Another threat to his crown. So he raced to fight them. In France, William waited for the right conditions to sail across the channel to England. Dang, he's getting Viking invaders and a Normandy invader? That sucks. The Damn, weather Harold. Killed. He seized his chance. I don't know about y'all. I love history. It's like my favorite subject. 50 miles north, Harold had defeated the Vikings. Now, hearing of William's arrival, his army sped south. At nine o'clock in the morning, on this hill, William's Norman army were ready to do battle with Harold's Anglo-Saxon men. The stage was set, and up for grabs, England itself. Dang. Battle of Hastings. Uh, okay, let me decrease the audio. 1066. Damn, what a year. 1066. What a good time. Okay, let me decrease the desktop. Oh, yeah, the desktop audio is way too high. Okay, yeah, thank you for telling me. Let me know if this is better. Well, there's nothing really happening right now. Okay, play. <laughs> One second. On October 14th, 1066, William of Normandy stood ready for battle at the base of a hill. The high ground belonged to King Harold of England and his Anglo-Saxon army. Why would you decide to battle here? Here, on this hilltop, the fate of England would be decided. Attack Harold's Saxon army? Okay. Oop. My fault. Ah! Okay, there we go. There we go. Better. Thank you. Thank you for your feedback. Okay. So. Okay. Who do I attack with? Just these guys? Okay, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, time to attack! William's Norman army made the first charge, launching a direct Uphill. assault on the shield wall. Oh, yeah, you, leaders do have unique abilities. It's cool. Bro, where are you going? Come here. I can't attack anything. Though William's army fought fiercely against the shield wall, it would not yield. As one man fell, another took his place. Overlapping shields in tight formation made for a near impenetrable barrier. 
Realizing his army could not break the shield wall, what William is this? called for a retreat. Feign a retreat order your news to away. Okay. Saxons into a false sense of victory. False sense of victory. Formation. Nice. William's feigned retreat was working. The Anglo-Saxon army broke their shield wall formation, leaving gaps for William to make a move. Nice. Strategy. You picked this up two weeks ago because I love playing one and two as a kid. Meet, dude. I played one and two so much. But yeah, I just picked this up today. I literally bought it before stream. I was like, ah, let's play Age of Empires today. Ah, oh, damn, we're dying over here. In shield wall formation. William could pick them off as they charged. Don't die. Kill the Saxons from the shield wall. What the hell is a shield wall? Oh, is this the shield wall? Like over here? I don't know what the hell a shield wall is. <laughs> That's new for this game. But yeah, I used to play this game so much as a child, and now we're here. Okay. God, we gotta help our friends! The Anglo Saxons Ooh, had to archers. Of spearmen to push back the invaders. There's like all these the units. I have no answer. idea what they are. Oh, these are just archers. archers. You guys, I went to I went to a um, Renaissance festival and we had to um I, we did this thing where we had our like a bow and arrow and stuff. And bro, it's so hard to do a bow and arrow. Like seriously, I don't know how these people did it. Bro, we're dying for real. Like we're not winning. Where's the king? Oh, here he is, bro. You can't die. Don't die, William. Get behind the archers or something. Whoa! Whoa, oh, oh, whoa, whoa. Bro, we're dying, for real, for real. We're, we're totally dying. You didn't touch the campaign yet? I don't want to go online. Not yet. Press A and left click the ground. A? Girl, I don't know what the hell they want me to do. We're gonna die. We're literally losing. Dude, you can't die. Come back here. Hide behind these horses. Don't die. Oh, we have all these units over here. What are we doing? Damn, King William Harold? I don't know. Anglo-Saxon archers joined the fray. And the Normans' deadly cavalry ready to charge. Oh, you do. Oh, you do single-player skirmishes. I got gotcha. you. William's forces had to eliminate the enemy spearmen, whose sturdy pole arms could easily bring down a horse. I am dying. Press A and left-click the ground. That's what I've been doing. I'm so confused. Whatever. Okay. Dude. I don't understand what they want me to do. <laughs> Whatever. All right. Get back onto the battlefield, William. But yeah, this is a campaign. I don't think it's like a crazy campaign. Ooh, my cavalry's ready. Let's go, charge! Charge at the Anglo-Saxon archers. Charge against the archers! Ugh. Time to kill William or Henry. What's his name? I don't know. I can't wait to see what campaigns they have in store for us. I'm going to buy every expansion for this game. All right, you're mine. The Anglo-Saxon army was Kill in disarray. Him. 
Their shield wall had been neutralized, and their numbers were dwindling. Now the only thing standing between William and Victory was... Kill the king! Himself. Is he not dying? Pretty sure he should have died by now. Oh, yeah. Wait, where is he? How is he not dead? <gasps> the last of what Harold's the men encircled their king, prepared to lay down their lives Everyone! to save his. How is he not dead? All right, you got to kill him. King versus king. Chariots are good or bad versus certain units like uncle. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know that. But for right now, I'm just trying to get through this stuff. Because this is like... This seems like a beginner campaign. I want to do like an actual real campaign. <laughs> Additional Norman archers joined the battle. Here we kill them! Let's go! Yeah, yeah, yeah! We won! The Retreat, bitches! Harold had fallen. In the confusion, some loyal soldiers fought to the death, while others scattered in panic. Uh -huh. This happened in IRL, guys. This is actually what happened. Honestly, it is, though. <laughs> They're really accurate with their history. I've learned so much history through this game. Like, Attila the Hun, El Cid, like, all those guys. I learned so much. Leaderless and defeated, the last of the Anglo-Saxon army fled for their lives. The Normans celebrated victory over the English king. But William's quest to rule England was just beginning. Yoo-hoo! Alright, let's get like a real one going on. But yeah, the yeah, the the guys with the pikes, they pikemen, they're really good against cavalry. Cavalry is really good against archers. Um, archers can be really good against militia. Yeah, so what is all this unlocked content? Building a castle. At Guédelon in France. To understand how castles were constructed, they're building one from scratch, using just the tools and materials of the medieval age. That sucks. It's a 25-year project. 25? The world's biggest archaeological experiment. Hell no. They're actually building a castle. That's crazy. The most important defensive feature of any castle was the wall surrounding it. Castle walls had to be incredibly thick in order to resist attack and absorb the impact of projectiles fired from trebuchets. The curtain wall was over 20 feet the deep. The cinematic of this game is sick. Yeah, like this is new. In earlier Norman castles, they were square. But while on crusade, European knights saw that eastern towers were round. They realized that eliminating corners not only made them stronger, but also provided a better view of the surrounding landscape. <clears throat> Completing the walls will take some 30,000 tons of sandstone. Transport costs in the Middle Ages were incredibly expensive. So having a good supply of local stone close to the castle was vital. Bruh. Imagine spending 25 years of your life, which is like a row of kind of a lot. Drilled. That's like a lot of life back in the day. People didn't live long back then. And then an army just comes and takes it over. That freaking sucks. <laughs> the stone is split into usable blocks then transported using horsepower and human effort. This treadwheel crane can lift up to half a ton. Oh my God, they had someone. The walls are built like sandwiches. On the outside, you have facing walls built from better quality stones. And the inside, the rubble cores, they're built with softer stones and other offcuts from the quarry. That's cool. And they're built up in layers. I like how they're actually giving history lessons and stuff for this game. This ingenious method makes the walls better able to withstand hits from a trebuchet. Now that do shit. is too hard to be carved into intricate windows, vaults, and steps. Hi, you, you. Come on. Instead, softer, more expensive limestone is used. 
These sophisticated building techniques make castles the ultimate feats of medieval engineering. Medieval. It's a testament to their construction that so many still stand today. Castles are cool. What is this? A page from history? And then the Norman Conquest. Didn't we just watch this? Let me see. I feel like we just did. Well, let's see. Yeah, I think we did. Yeah, we did. Okay, cool. Continue. At the Battle of Hastings, the death of one man changed the course of history. The Anglo-Saxon King Harold was killed here, on England's south coast. His army defeated by William of Normandy. Anglo-Saxon rule was over forever. At Westminster Abbey on Christmas Day... Yo, Zero Two, how are you? What's up? William was crowned the first Norman King of England. Now he had to secure power across the country. So much history in these countries, it's crazy. The landscape. Like, the US wasn't even a thing at this time. And castles at strategic locations. History is so wild to me. Been seen in England before. They reminded the Just fell out of bed. Nice. Welcome. Exactly Good morning. <laughs> Not all were content with living under Norman rule. Anglo-Saxon revolts broke out across the country. King William acted quickly to crush these rebellions. But there was one region where dissent was spiraling out of control. The north of England. Because of Vikings, right? In 1069, yeah. a group of lords from Northumbria formed an alliance with Viking invaders. Together they approached Norman held York. A large city with an important cathedral, still protected by ancient Roman walls. But the walls couldn't save York. It's so weird that Romans the city used to be and in the England. Fell to the rebels. William's new kingdom was under threat. He had to get the city back under Norman control. William had no choice but to order his men north. But as the Norman forces set off on their long march towards York, how much resistance from the rebels would they encounter? Cool. Hi, you, you. Ah, you, you. My cat is just a little baby. Hi, baby. You're just a cutie. Hello, hello. York, six, 1069. What a year that was, boys. What a year. I'm like, I know the modern day kind of sucks, but honestly, I'm kind of glad I live William the Conqueror here. marched north. With his army and of not Normans in determined to take back 1069. The <laughs> but in his path stood rebel towns that harbored William's northern enemies. Okay. He would take the towns back by force. Okay, let's have a scout look ahead and see what we can find. Okay, that's a scout. Oh, that's a town right there. Okay. Was that a dog or a sheep? What the hell was that? Okay, all right. I'm gonna scout some more before we attack. Doesn't seem like they have a crazy army or anything. Oh, those are villagers. Okay. Oh my god, they're following me. 
These sheeps are following me. Oh, I love you guys. Thanks for following me. That's nice. They have to just follow you instead. Before they didn't follow you, so that's a that's new. We could just like I don't know, ignore that entire city and Oh no, I guess we can. That's an object objective. Someone I don't know is calling me and no. We're not answering that. Okay, there's a whole ass army right there. Alrighty, so let's go back. Come on, sheep! Okay, so we have this whole army. All right. Hi, you, you. What's up, baby? You, you, you gotta get out of my way. You use my cat, and he's just, like, laying right in front of me. No, don't <laughs> press on the keyboard. What's your issue, bro? No, don't. Y'all want to see my cat? Here. Here he is. And he's being a little baka. Are you being a little baka? Here, we'll have a little cat stream for right now. <laughs> All right, let's attack. The cat, the scouts are just gonna chill, I think. Hi, you, you. Alright. You, you. God. Yeah. <laughs> I love you. I love you so much. There you go. Here you go, guys. This is the content you came to see. For It's my cat. I know this is why you're here. You, you, you're on camera. All right, let's use our cavalry and charge and kill these villagers. And everyone else fall back. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. Alrighty, let's get our. Do we have archers? No. Ah, uh, we'll be all right. Yeah, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Damn, don't die by the pikemen. Oh wait, no, that's our- that's, those are our guys. Do we- oh, we have to kill the town center? Bad. Sometimes you don't know if you have to kill the town center or not. Ah, you, you! Get off of my keyboard! God, what did you do to the volume? Oh my god, what did you do to the volume? Oh, this volume's fine. Okay, there we go. You, you, chill out, please. We did it. captured the town of Middlethorpe, establishing their presence in the north. Mm -hmm. With reinforcements to his army soon arriving, William would need more resources to supply them. Build up my economy with what? Build four additional farms, assign five villagers to chop wood. Where are my villagers? Do I have any? Cat is vibing. Yeah, he's chilling. He's he's the star of the stream. 
Also, how did you get your name like that? What the heck? That's cool. Um, bruh, what do I need to do? Do we del- Send more villagers. I get- where, where do the frick do we get villagers? Oh, I guess our town center is okay. Even though it's on fire, we can produce town- we can produce some villagers. Sounds good to me. What? Do we die? What? What? I'm co so confused what just happened. What just happened? Huh? Yes, we're gonna restart. I don't know what we just did. How did we fail the mission? Also, guys, yeah, this is my new PC right here. She looks pretty. She's so pretty. Can see a little bit of it, but yeah, she's a, she's a beaut. Hi, you, you. Okay, what the hell was that? What even happened right there? Skip. All right, he no. Take the towns back. No fucking about. Force. No fucking about. Let's go. Honestly, I wish they would like redo some of the older campaigns that um like Joan of Arc and stuff. I wish they did that. Just like a new Joan of Arc campaign would be dope. No. Okay, scouts, y'all going to chill. Y'all are not fighters. You use watching the game. <laughs> he finds this entertaining. Nice. Okay. Oh. So I guess we didn't need to destroy the, the town center before. That's what happened. Okay, got it. We, we fucked up last time, basically. Okay, so we did that. Why are they la Why are they so loud? Jesus. Okay, we need to build some farms. I need to keep an eye on my resources. It's so weird that the resources are on the bottom left corner of the screen. Like, that just doesn't happen in Age of Empires, but whatever. Um, do I have a mill? I need to get used to these buildings being all weird. Um, okay. Assign five villagers to chop wood. Alright, wood do. Lum where's a good place to get wood around these parts? Okay, let's just go up here for now. Ooh! The archers. Let's get our army over here. Y'all are in the way! Okay, yeah, y'all can chop wood over here. Two additional houses. We could do that. Okay. Where is my idle villager button? Can I can I add that? Let's add an let's add a vil, idle villager button. Controls which has to use are selected. Oh, smart database. No, where is the um? Are these the only settings? Idle villager icon. Yeah, where is that? Where is it? Is this it? I don't know. This must be it. Or that's the queue. I guess I have no idle villagers. You, you, are you watching the, the game? Are you having a good time? See. Okay, you're gonna build some houses for me, dude. 
Build two additional houses, build four oh we need to build a couple more farms too. Okay, you're gonna you're gonna build this. Over here. And you are gonna build one too. Over there. Yeah. I don't think I have a mill though. Do I have a mill? These are all houses. Yeah. Getting used to this game. Chop, chop, chop. Sick. Woohoo! Let's build a mill. The Norman army was now well supplied by a town, but it would take a sustained effort to keep the army at full strength. Reinforcements have arrived. Oh, yeah, baby. Let's go. King William. You guys, I'm currently playing Assassin's Creed Valhalla off stream, and. Another rebel town, Fulford, stood in defiance to William's rule. I'm learning so much about the Vikings. Even though I already watched the show Vikings, it's like. Yeah, it's a good time. Alright, we need to. Let's get a couple more villagers on wood. What? Oh, that's a scout. No, we don't need that. Oh, look, a shape! A herdable shape. Oh, there's some berries over here. Damn. Okay, I should have put my mill over there. Whatever. It's all right. Moving on. Oh, the scout. Nice. Come on, bring the sheep over to town, baby. I love how they just follow. That's so cool. This game is actually better than I thought it was going to be. Okay, so let's like explore a little bit, why don't we? And then I know that there's a huge army like right across the river that we're going to need to kill. Who is this? Bro, get in formation. What are you doing? Oh, kill him! Yes! You thought you were going to scout my land, but you're not. <laughs> yeah. Supposedly they're speaking English, but I don't know what. I don't know what. Commandment. I don't know where any gold is around here. Y'all are gonna have to explore a little bit. Explore. Cool, cool. You, you, are you having a good time watching the show? <laughs> Uh, there's nothing over here. Oh, uh, can he cross the river? No, he can't. Okay. Um, let's check out over here and see if there's any um, stuff over there. Because we need some gold, bruh. To build an army, you need gold. Ooh, my bet. Alrighty. This is the town that we need to de destroy. Oh, you thought you're. Oh boy. Okay, destroy, destroy, destroy. Archers, kill them. What the hell was that gate? You guys are losers. Freaking bums. Okay, regroup, everyone regroup. Just kill the last breath. Yay, we captured Fulford. Woohoo! With the Fulford rebels eliminated, William was one step closer to York. All right, come up here, scouts. Ooh, there's some gold up here. Let's go. All right, we need y'all to get some of this. Knowing Good he would stuff. face strong resistance in the city, William prepared to bolster his cavalry. Okay, gather food and gold to construct a landmark. What the hell? Build a stable to produce horsemen. Okay. okay. 
Uh, one second. Let me put the game on pause for a minute. You, you, <laughs> be a good co-worker. One second, y'all. Kraya, how are you? Dude, what's up? Good morning. What? Mm, okay. Kraya, have you ever played Age of Empires before? Okay. I played the old ones? Me too. This is my first time playing the new one. Alrighty. Hold on, guys. I have to send an email real quickly. Okay, here we go. <coughs> Excuse me. Cryo, what are you up to today? Are you doing anything fun this morning? Ooh. Oh my god, that was my neck. Jesus Christ. Okay. Just work meeting soon. Yeah, I'm technically working, but I do need to send this email real quickly. So bear with me, y'all. One second. Um, just, you know, fun work stuff. But I am, I am loving this game, though. Like, seriously. I'm having a great time with this. All right. Okay. Cool. All right, we did that. Resume. Okay, so I have to build a landmark. Oh, to advance to the feudal age. Ooh. This is, okay, this is very Age of Empires 3 right here. Produce archers at 100% speed. Heals all nearby out of combat units by 2. Nah, we need this one. Okay. Where the hell are we gonna put this thing? Okay, right there, I guess. Landmark right next to the wall. <laughs> Alright, everyone build that shit. Okay. Okay. If I had an idle... Here, I'm gonna try something. Idle villager. You're gonna be idle. Where is the idle... Oh, this is the idle villager icon. Got it. Okay, I finally figured that out. Cool. Nice. We don't want any idle villagers. That is like rule number one of this game. No idle villagers. You need every villager working on something. Let's get some more. Construct a landmark, build a stable. Okay. Ooh, I got some sheep. Here, uh, I'll herd them, I guess. Herd them, herd them to the city. All right, let's, let's explore. You explore all around. Oh, what is this? Wood? Lumber mill? Oh, this is the enemy's lumber mill. 
Mm -mm. Is there a city around here or something? No. They're just taking resources. Here, y'all get this food. Cutting sound for work things. Do good, Kraya, no problem. Danish the raiders? Army came under oh. attack from a new enemy. Oh, shh. The Danes. The Danes! Okay, Scout, you don't need to do anything. Okay, let's build a... We have to build... William's army held back the Danes' attack. But yep. they threatened to oh, return. Oh, we have to build a barracks William first. Paid them in gold. Construct a landmark. We have to build a barracks before we can build a stable. That's usually how it goes. We stopped the Danish raids. Use the tribute panel? Why are we sending gold? 100. 500 gold? Are you serious? Fine. Whatever. Let's see what happens. Send. Okay, don't it Oh, we could have destroyed them too. Whatever. William paid off the Danes and was rid of their attacks. Like, bruh. Just... They're probably gonna, like, I don't know, not pay attention to that. Alright, scouts. Okay. William's ultimate goal was within his grasp. All that remained was to enter York and destroy its keep. Okay, so we need some cavalry. Oh wait, this is not. Oops. Oh, there's the stable. Woohoo! Okay, where are we gonna put this hoe? Put it right over here. This uh, is not an ideal place, but it's okay. It's a campaign. It's all right. Okay. Let's here. You go that way, homeboy. You go. You just go straight. And hopefully you don't die. Let's just see what's out there. You, you, can you, like, not? <laughs> okay. Hi, baby boy. You're so cute. Okay, let's get my the army Romans discovered together. the source of the Danes' threat. An outpost on the water. William had a choice. Damn. Bypass the encampment. Or destroy it. Oh no! Oh man! <gasps> With their stables in place, the Normans could have My scout! My scout is gonna die. Actually, no, he's not. You do just hide. Just hide. Hide from your enemies. Ooh, we got some reinforcements. Let's go. Um. Oh, hey, this is the Danish camp. Dude, we could have defeated them easily. Damn. What is all this stuff? Treasure chest? I already paid them. I'm not gonna freaking kill them. I should have, but whatever. Okay, we got the stable rolling. Breach the city gates. What is this? Horsemen, light melee cavalry. Okay, sounds good. Let's get some of those. We do need some more cavalry. Um, Attention. Ah, you, you. What's your deal? Can you stop? Stop it. Stop. <laughs> Okay. Hey, you just want all the attention. You want all of it. All the attention. What's your deal? What's your deal? <laughs> We're just gonna give him some pets because he just wants all the love right now. What is it? Okay. Oh god. Did you get rid of this sound again? Okay. There we go. 
Okay, so we're getting a few more cavalry. Um, let's get some stone, yeah? Let's also get some stone. Okay, because we're not doing anything with stone right now. What else can they build, though? Market, archery range, blacksmith. Yep, we need a blacksmith out here. Alright, so... City gate, city gate. Okay. Oh god, they've really been doing work out here. Um, here, let's make this easier for you guys. <laughs> this is cool, I like that little animation that they have. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. What the heck is that noise? Are we being attacked? Oh, damn. Hold on, guys. Cool, thank you. All right, so let's just attack. Frick it. Okay. Let's go to this city gate over here. I think this will be the move. Hopefully. We'll leave some cavalry here to protect. Ooh, an outpost. Charge. Oh, hell no. Pikeman over here. I'm trying to get used to these controls. They're kind of hard. You have to like press A to attack. That's just weird. Huzzah! Where are my archers? Kill these archers. Are they like attacking or what? How do they attack? Okay, there we go. <laughs> Cry um poured into York and began sacking the town as they bore down on the keep. Destroy the keep? Okay, let's destroy it. Let's destroy the keep. Oh god. Okay. Archers! Yeah. Where are y'all going? Come up here. Oh man, there's a lot going on right now. Just 
can't let the king die. Can't die. Ooh. Damn. Damn. We're gonna die. There's so many archers right here. Shoot. All my cavalry died. Alright, bruh. Looks like they're done, though. Let's go back. Shoot! I totally fucked up. Sorry, archers. Take one for the team. Um, ugh, we need to upgrade everyone. Let's get. I'm gonna have you guys be on food. But I'll also I'll get some more villagers. Okay. So let's get some more spearmen. We're gonna upgrade their technology. We're gonna need an archery range. That's another thing we need. Okay. This village down here is doing alrighty. They're doing alrighty. Okay, you're gonna build an archery range for me, girl. Okay. Ah, something dropped. Diosama. Diosama. Dio's my other cat. Oh god, are you gonna go see Dio? Okay, he's gonna go see Dio. Hi, Dio. Back to me. Okay. That was a cute little break. <laughs> okay, we got an archery range. Let's, um... Yeah, let's get some archers. Can I age up or no? Like, what's the deal? Oh, I could do archers here. Oh, whoa. That just fell. Oh, damn, we're crushing. Crushing that. I don't even know if we even need to gather stone. It doesn't seem like we do. There is some gold up here. Hmm. Did we go get that? We might need to. Okay. Y'all are done. Let's steal this enemy gold. It doesn't- there weren't any troops down there, so we're just gonna take it. Frick it. Upgrade man arms. Do we need a man arms? I don't know. Calvary. Get more everything. How do I age up in this game? Usual. Maybe it's not letting me age because we're just like taking every city we can see. Mm, maybe I get a siege. Yeah, why not? Let's let's see what that's about. Come on, this. I might as well get some mana arms. Frick it. Good job, guys. Take the enemy's resources. Woohoo! And now they're done with this stone. 
I feel like they should... We're not doing anything with stone, it seems like. At least not now. I don't know if we're going to. Let's just get more, get more gold. Just get more gold and see what happens. <clears throat> Even though there was some stone over here, but... We're not using any of it. Oh god, are we being invaded? Oh no, we're being invaded! I'll be fine. They're surviving though, so that's good. They're just- they always yell in this game. I like it though. Alright, I don't know if we're strong enough. I should just build some more barracks so we can get stuff faster. I wonder when the first expansion for this game is gonna come out, because I need it. I need it in my life. I need it in my life. Incontinent. Incontinent. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Okay. I mean, that's a solid army for now. Let's just, like, see what happens. And we already destroyed the gate. Oh, damn. Uh. What units do they have? Pikemen, archers. Alrighty. Maybe we do need some more militia. But, yeah, let's get some more militia. Dude, oh, the queue is taking forever. Here, I need to build another barracks. Barracks. No, it's not a barracks. And a stable. Let's do that. God, there's no room in this place. I'll just put it up here. This is where my arm, my um, my army is anyway. Grab some more villagers to help with building this. We'll be all right. Be all right. What is this? No. Who need that? Also, I don't know where my scouts went. Oh yeah, I have one scout up here that's chilling. He's like, uh, I almost died. Come back, scout. We're being attacked again? What's the deal? I need to send in some clips. Guys, I love Final Fantasy XIV so much. It's so fun.
<laughs> My brother's like, Age of Empires? You're playing Age of Empires? I guess I am. Okay, clip dump. It's such a classic game for my family and I. Okay, we're gonna attack soon, cause it's enough dilly-dallying. Gotta attack. Oh, there's a new video. Cool. Um. Okay. Alrighty. One more clip. Actually, a couple more. That'll do for now, I think. But actually, let me see. Cryo, there's a new Final Fantasy XIV Lulu highlights video. Oh wait, no, this was yesterday. Is this yesterday? confused of what's happening with Lulu right now. Okay. I think we're good to go. Let's see what happens. Where, where like the, who am I even right now? Like, who is my, oh, I have 14 idle villagers. What the hell? All right. I don't know. Oh, there's some more gold up here. Let's get some gold. Let's go in the middle, and we'll just split it up. Okay. The Lou is moving away from the Fashionista channel? Yeah, I know. I wonder why. Do you know why that's happening? Oh god, we don't need that. We don't need the horsemen to die. Okay, go to the archers. Y'all go to the archers. Sneak past everyone. The pikemen. There's hella pikemen up here. Okay. Yeah, the horses are gonna die because there's so many pikemen. Here, y'all go to the freaking archers. What is the villager doing here? Okay, you know what? That's a good idea. Okay, you're gonna build some stuff for us, okay? No one die! Everyone focus. Focus! Focus! It's all archers. Like, we got this. We got this. Where is my king? Oh, there he is. I would always hide, like, the special unit during the other campaigns because I was so scared I was gonna lose him. Like, he was gonna die. <laughs> I got ready to give Stream Highlight its own channel personal project on the original. I don't know, there's so many- He already has so many subs, like, on the Fashionista. It's just, like, a weird decision. to the Norman army. And yeah, we did secured. it. The Northern Rebellion was over, and William the Conqueror was uncontested as King of England. Woohoo! Yeah, yeah. Go, Bill. <laughs> yeah, let's go, William. Woohoo! Okay. Ooh, doomsday book. Page from history. William won England by the sword and was merciless in replacing the Anglo-Saxon barons with the more loyal Norman nobility. His harrying of the north killed thousands, but it was a land survey that truly cemented his rule. In 1085, William sent out surveyors across England to record the land holdings of everyone in his kingdom. So thorough was the survey, it was asked if 
as wait it was said to be as if god were recording the state of the world on judgment day okay north to york oh the crossbow Sorry one about the weapon more than any other dominated warfare in the norman period crossbows the crossbow are way easier than a longbow oh my god the longbow is so hard to draw 14th century crossbows like this with a culmination of centuries of development. Except it takes forever to- <laughs> made of steel, they were incredibly powerful. Boom! But earlier Norman Probably more accurate. had limbs made of wood. There was a limit to how powerful these wooden bows could be. So the idea that Norman crossbows were a powerful weapon is really a myth. Despite this, they were effective at medium range, and that was enough in battle. Drawing the bow repeatedly took a lot of strength. Thankfully, more accurate, more deadly, for sure. A crossbowman and less work. Weapon with a device called a belt and claw. This gave him extra. Well, maybe not less work, because this his looks back tough. Legs to draw the string. How are you going to do that in the middle of battle? Crossbowmen were vulnerable on a battlefield, so they carried large shields called pavises. So they could hunker down behind, load, pop up, shoot, and then duck back down again to reload. Crossbows were accurate, took less training, and used cheaper ammunition than the longbow. You do or you die pretty Most much, yeah. You could wait to take your shot, so they were perfect for siege situations. To protect crossbowmen when they were defending castles, they used specially built wooden galleries called hoardings. But shooting down Damn. towards an approaching enemy presented its own problems. How to stop the bolt from falling off the crossbow before it could be shot? What they did is just place the thumb loosely on the top of the bolt, which is just enough with light pressure to hold it in place. Around 1200, the Norman wooden crossbow was superseded by a new design, the composite bow. <coughs> Excuse me. With limbs made from horn and sinew, they could be made more compact than a wooden bow. And they could deliver up to four times the punch. They were, however, more expensive. So whether on the battlefield or the castle rampart, simple wooden crossbows remained the main weapon of the day. Okay, well, that was a cool history lesson. I'm glad that they're doing these like little history lessons in this game. It's so dope. Okay. Um, we already saw that. Okay, continue. William the Conqueror had recaptured York from the rebels. Now he wanted to teach them a lesson for defying him. He began a brutal campaign of destruction to crush any further resistance, known as the harrying of the North. Villages and crops were destroyed. Look at these cinematics. It is said a hundred thousand people were killed. Oh my, that's With a ton for back then. William the Conqueror had secured obedience in his new kingdom. 100,000 people in 1089. It would be thrown into it's like chaos half the population. By his own children. It would be thrown into chaos by his own children? What does that mean? When William the Conqueror died in 1087, oh. his favorite son succeeded him. Favorite son William the second? William the second, known as William Rufus. There's so many Williams. <laughs> but 13 years into his reign, disaster struck while out hunting he was killed how did he die while hunting stray arrow what william's youngest brother took his place as king henry the first down but there was a problem how do you die hunting at the time henry's elder brother robert duke of normandy had been on crusade Oh, he, he wanted returned, the throne. He was furious that Henry had grabbed the throne. Shit. Shit. From Normandy, 
Robert You're on crusade, bro. What can I say? To claim the crown from his brother. But he failed. <coughs> and returned home. In retaliation, Henry struck back. In a reversal of 1066, he crossed the channel and invaded Normandy. Why? Intent on undermining his brother Robert's rule. His first target was Bayer. Assassin's Creed did it, right? <laughs> this rich and oh my city god. Was one of the jewels of Normandy. Why is he Henry like doing that though? I don't get it. By unleashing his forces on the city. Bayer was about to feel the wrath of the English army. Cuz his bro he knew his brother was going to like do it again or something. I don't understand. Henry the first descended upon sent on Bayo with the full force of his army intent taking what he believed were his. Why did he believe Normandy was his? I don't get that. The fuck? Am I missing something? Yo, Sharon Gun, how are you? Dude, the drama. The drama back then. It's like, this land is mine. This kingdom is mine. <laughs> it's so funny. Goodness gracious. How's it going? It's going well. How are you, bruh? What's going on? Okay. Okay, bay you. Oh, we're in a different century now. 1105. You are woke perfect. Guys, I'm Henry missing this. Feud over Normandy. King Henry the First set out to make an example of Bayer, a town still loyal to his brother Duke Robert. He's just doing this Henry as a lesson. Henry took up position on high ground outside the city and faced an immediate attack by Robert's cavalry patrol. They're literally like, what is the point of this battle? Written will, spoken words are just claiming enemies. lands, right? Henry's so stupid. Were well protected against the Talk about charge. egotistical. They defeated the first patrol. <clears throat> oh, select the archers. Yeah. King Henry. Hi, dear Sama. He was just like, my brother tried to attack me, so I'm gonna attack him. Ah. Uh. He just thinks his brother's not fit to rule or defend his land. Is it even his land? As Henry set his sights on burning Bayer, is Normandy his land? Reinforcements arrived to join his army. Use palings to defend against cavalry. Oh, sick. Oh, dang. Cool. Okay, now what? All right, scout. Let's see what's out there. Just a village, small village. Oh, whoa, there's a whole cavalry thing right there. All right, cool. Um, all righty. Hang out over there. Not really? Yeah, like, Normandy's not even his land, so what's he all, like, up in arms about? So stupid. Select all arch, left click the attack move. Then left click on the ground near an enemy. Alright, well, the archer's gonna hang out over here. Let's go over here. Everyone else. Are these all scouts? Damn. We have a lot of scouts. We have hella archers. Holy shit. The English approached Bayer and saw that its towering stone walls would not be breached by manpower alone. Henry would need siege equipment and a defensible location to construct it. Capture the forest village? Yeah! 
All right, capture the forest village. Let's go back. People, like, seriously, back then were so freaking bored. They had nothing to do besides, like, kill each other. Honestly. That's, like, all they did. My scouts are gonna die. Across this, this is a huge. This is literally Paris, isn't it? Oh man, they have people on the walls. Shoot. All right, let's go to this city, the Forest Village. Oh, I'm hungry. Hi, do you use some mo or you use some up? Oh, dang. Yeah. Hi, you, you. The cat is back. Just kill the guys, don't kill anything else. There we go. Yeah, huzzah, huzzah, huzzah. Henry now called for the services of a blacksmith to bolster the siege effort. Hi, he says hi, Cryer. Cool. Build a blacksmith. Okay. <laughs> blacksmith. We don't need all of y'all to build it. We need a few of you over here. We need some more food as well. With a blacksmith on hand. Henry's infantry would soon be ready to construct siege equipment. Group only your longbow, group only your spearman. Oh, could- <clears throat> I need to learn how to do those hotkeys. Research siege engineering. Yeah, that's what we did. Alright, what can y'all do for me? You can get some more wood, we need some more wood. And you need jack. Ding da ding a ding a ding. Okay. We're learning this. Group okay, let's learn this. Group my longbowman. Control zero. Let's do control one. Nice! So control one gets them. Wait, what? Oh, I see what that does. That control two. Got it. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Yeah, yeah. We're learning the game. Like that. Henry's infantry could now construct battering rams, siege weapons designed to break open fortress walls. Mm. Use infantry to construct rams. Oh wow! Battering ram siege tower. That's cool. It's pretty neat. I need to build another one too after this. Theo. It shall be 
Dio, come on. Dio, come on. Come here. Hit me at full gun. Needy, needy cat. Okay. I'm gonna build another one. That timber and shale bed. Okay. Sick. I was almost going to play Diablo today, but then I couldn't get it to like sync my. With the power of battering rams, um, the English I couldn't get it to sync my mighty walls. account onto my PC, and I don't know why. That should be good, yeah. Oh, we have some idle villagers. What are y'all doing? There's wood right in front of you. Okay. We need some gold, too. Okay. Alright, let's just get after it. Like... I need to work on my posture. Jeez, my posture looks awful. Yo! Attack the gates! Is this the wall? Oh, this is even the gate. Wait, is it? I don't know. No, it's not. Oh, well. It's fine. Just breach the walls. Yeah, we did it. Bayer's walls had failed, and Henry's men could now storm the city. Robert's garrison made a last stand to defend Bayer. But Henry oh, would show man. no mercy in cutting them down and burning their city. How many buildings do I need to defeat? Alright, let's get some more horses out here. <laughs> oh, I'm not even where I need to be. Okay. No, you're all like fine. Alright, let's go across the bridge. Or whatever. Destro We're just gonna destroy as many buildings as possible. I don't even know. What are you doing? <laughs> For Normandy! Okay. Hey, you're 
Bruh, don't die, like seriously. Good stuff. Ah. Oh man, is that a castle? Bruh, don't die. <gasps> no! Injured leader, rescue the leader. Bruh, the fuck? Okay, good. He doesn't just die. That's bless. That's a bless. Oh my god, that castle can really, really be far. That's insane. What is this? Oh, that's Notre Dame. Damn. Alright, we'll destroy Notre Dame. Like, why not? For funsies. Just destroy it for funsies. Let's create another ram. Let's do that. Holy shit. It's crazy how... How far away they can, that can shoot from. We're almost done. Yay, Notre Dame dead. Woohoo! Let's go across the bridge. Oh, we just have to kill people at this point. Bah, bruh, 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 we're gonna die. Damn. You retreat. Come back here. Build our army. God damn. We're so close. Kill to get the barracks. It is what it is. Royal Institute. Damn, destroyed Notre Dame. It is what it is. It'd be like that. It'd be like that sometimes. Okay. Got me some barracks. Let's get an archery range. Oh man, these are like gonna die. <laughs> so close, oh my god. I need you to build another barracks. <clears throat> Dude, what they're I know what they're saying is English, but it does not sound like it. <laughs> Like, what? What are you saying? Alright. 
<laughs> Excuse me, I keep coughing. Egypt blue came that. Garwigan. Yeah. Ooh, an arsenal. Hell yeah. I want arsenal. Also, my scout is still just chilling over here. But that's okay. All right, we don't have much left to do. Bruh, no. Villager, stay over there. My units are just so weak. Didn't I pill the blacksmith somewhere? I feel like I did. Uh, there, yeah. I don't have enough gold, no! Can sell some of my wood at the marketplace. Do I even have a market? I don't think I do. Yes, Bruh, what? There's a market. Okay. I don't know where to build this hoe. Let's just build it over here. Let's go, market. All right, we're so close to our objective anyway. Let's just like go and see what happens. All right, we just need to kill some units and then we're good. Oh, damn. Are we already being attacked? Oh, he's outpost. Here. Oh, shit. I didn't even see those. <gasps> oh, man. My cavalry's gonna die, die. Maybe not. Well, that was cool. Good. There goes my cavalry. We love to see it. How many units do I have to kill? Those cavalry are a liability, bro. They're not strong enough at all. Yay, we did it! Woohoo! Let's go. As Bayo burned, and the people fled in terror, King Henry basked in the victory over his brother Duke Robert. But Henry would not stop until all of Normandy was back under the English crown. Why was- was Normandy- Normandy ever, like, under the English crown? That's literally like Paris or whatever. Hell. My god. Ugh. I hate seeing corny stuff on the internet. Ooh, mail making. Yes, Ma. By 1100, the medieval knight was dressed from head to toe in mail. is really like a metal fabric. It moves and behaves like a cloth, but is actually made of hundreds and thousands of interlocking iron rings. It could turn and deflect a sword blade. As an armor, mail didn't work all by itself. Can it needed it? the addition of a padded coat. The coat absorbed the shock of the blow whilst the mail turned away the cut. Together, they formed an incredibly effective protection. It looks hot. Like, that looks like it would burn my skin off. <laughs> the first stage in making mail 
was to create wire to the right thickness. Hmm. To do this, it was pulled through a drawing plate, which had a series of ever smaller holes, until you got wire of the desired gauge. To make the rings, we wind the wire onto a mandrel. And then we take it off the mandrel and cut the rings. So I've flattened the overlapping ends of the ring and I've pierced a hole through it. And now Nick has to put a rivet in it. The basic construction of male would be a ratio of four to one. So each ring goes through four of its fellows. Here you can see I've made a set of five, which will then be joined to other sets of five to create a sheet of male. Male had to be tailored to a perfect fit. It had to be shaped for feet and legs arms and hands, and, of course, the head. A skilled male maker could make very precise shapes. Of course, for more complicated parts of the body, like elbows, we can actually tailor it in two different directions at the same time. Yeah, so if we fold this in half, we have an elbow. <laughs> nice, we have an elbow. One of the main benefits of tailoring in male was that it meant a knight didn't have to carry a single ring of extra weight that he didn't need to. The male to cover a knight from head to toe required about 200,000 rings. Ugh. High status knights would have had their mail edged with gold, but most importantly, it had to be functional. High Clad status. In mail with his shield and helmet, the knight was well equipped to face the weapons of the day. That's a pretty harsey. <laughs> nice. While Bayer burned, King Henry pressed his advantage. Seizing key fortifications and buying the loyalty of powerful lords, Henry loosened his brother's grip over Normandy. At Tinchebray in 1106, brother would fight brother for final claim to their father's lands. Damn, they really hate each other that much. That's crazy. King Henry wants bid for Normandy Hinch on capturing his brother but the castle at Tinchbray. Duke Robert. Determined to claim Normandy and capture his brother, Duke Robert, King Henry besieged the castle at Tinchebray. Just crazy because this but was like a thousand years ago. The formidable stone castle was failing. Unable to breach the towering walls, the king devised a new plan to capture his brother. Henry would force Robert to defend his lands from attack by raising the villages. Okay. Well, we'll do that next week or something, because... Wow. Ooh, the Mongol army. 100 years. What is this? English... Ooh, and Mongol. Sick. The rise of Moscow. Ooh, there's so much... Look at all these campaigns. Oh my god, I'm so excited to play all those. Masteries? Sick. That's dope. This game looks so different than what I'm used to. Learn to Asian Parsley. Perhaps later. Skip to main menu, multiplayer. So sick. Mods? Ooh. I wonder when the next like expansion is coming out with new civs and stuff, but alas. Well guys, this was fun. Um I'm gonna have to end stream now because my time is up. But yeah, it's been real. Thank you all for like hanging out with me and I will see you next week. Bye!